In this video, we are going to discuss measurement skills and there are four different types we shall discuss one by one. So, there are four different types. The so, first type is our nominal level of measurement. Classifies data into mutually exclusive that means non-overlapping and exhausting categories in which no order or ranking can be imposed on the set of data. So, as example, we can go for say, say political party. So, we are having the different values might be say democratic, republican, independent, etc. Medicial status we can go for say single, married, divorced, widowed, separated and so on. So, what is happening here you see, here these particular categories are non-overlapping. So, there is no, uh, there is no common in between. So, they are non-overlapping and mutually exclusive and exhaustive that means each and every data must be getting a value from that from those options and there is no ordering or ranking can be imposed on the data. Next one we are going for the ordinal level of measurement classifies data into categories that can be ranked however precise differences between the ranks do not exist. As example you can consider this grade so that is we can have the values like say A, B, C, D, E, F. So, we are having 6 different grades are there and here this is a good example of ordinal level of measurement. The next one is our internal level of measurement. It ranks data and precise differences between units of measurement measure do exist. However, there is no meaningful zero. So, you can consider this one that is a meaningful difference of one point between IQ 109 and IQ 110. So, here you see here we are going for this is this is a good example of this interval level of measurement. So, here what is happening it can ranks data and also it calculates the precise differences between units of measure. So, in this case the values are 109 and 110, but here we are calculating that it is they are having one point difference between. The next one is our ratio level of measurement. So, possesses all the characteristics of interval measurement and there exists a true zero and in addition true ratios exist when the same variable is measured on two different members of the population. If the things are not getting clear, so let us go for one example. For example, if one person can lift 200 pounds and the another can lift 100 pounds then the ratio between them will be 2 is to 1. So, that is known as the ratio level of measurement. So, the ratio level of measurement here we are going to calculate two different measure values from two different members of the population and we are trying to calculate the respective ratio of those values. So, in our video we have discussed what are the different measurement skills are possible and we have explained that one with some examples. Thanks for watching this video.